And to give you a... Uy! <laughs> here in Montreal. So, I'll give you an idea yes, kung magkano ba yung mini moves. Ito ba natin? Mas malaki pa yung boobs mo kaysa yung mukha mo. Ay, nakarecord yun. <laughs> <laughs> Visit ka? Uh, at least may boobs. <laughs> The highest paying ano ba yun? <laughs> Kagaling ko lang work, medyo pagod, pero nakaligo na rin ako. So, yeah, let's start! Hi, Scoopies! Welcome back to our channel. And I'm here to give you some scoops on in of information for today. So, before I continue, please do like and subscribe our channel and also click the notification bell for more updates on our videos. So, guys, saan ba talaga ang Montreal? So, not everybody knows kung saan si Montreal. Montreal is part of the province of Quebec. So, si Quebec naman ang second largest province ng Canada. Montreal is an affordable city. The cost of housing is therefore more favorable for students like me. For the rent, you can also just pay $300 to $500 for a room. So, mas maganda kung meron kang kashare sa apartment para mas mura. So, andito po lahat yung mga rent ranges dito sa Montreal. Kung one bedroom, two bedroom, or studio yung gusto nyong apartment. Okay, so next, utility bills. Ano ba yung binabayaran na utility dito? So, uh, most of the apartments here are heated na. So, basically, included na yun siya sa rent. But, there are also apartments na non-heated pa. So, you need to pay for the hydro. So, for the hydro, approximately nasa $30 to $40 yung pabayaran yung per month. Okay? So, ano pa ba? And for the Wi-Fi, pwede po kayong kumuha ng plan for only $40. And ito po yung MBPS na pwede nyo pagpipili. And of course, you need to have your own mobile plan. So, here are your options o ano yung mga mobile plans na pwede nyo pagpipilian and their prices. And I'm also paying for my Opus card. Diyan yung ginagamit na min dito for the transpo. So, unlimited ride sa bus and sa train will cost you $56 per month kung student ka. Pero kung hindi ka naman student, you'll be paying $90. But, it's uh, everything, parang lahat na yan for a month. So, still a good amount. And next is the grocery. So, syempre, kailangan natin kumain. just ko naman. <laughs> Kain tayo, syempre. Okay, so for the food, I'm allowing myself to spend $100 to $150 per month. And we will be, uh, isasama ko kayo, mag-grocery tayo sa next vlog para may idea kayo kung ano ba yung kinakaya ng $100 na budget natin in a month. Okay, so yung $100 to $150, budget ko po yun for the grocery in a month. So here are my expenses 
for the whole month. And tada! This is the total amount that I am paying in a month as a student. Okay, the second best thing here in Montreal that you cannot find sa ibang provinces, provinces ng Canada is ang transportation system nila dito, ang commute system. So, nabanggit ko na may opus card ako. There are times na pagbaba mo pa lang or paglabas mo ng bahay mo, you need to walk like 4 to 5 minutes to reach the nearest bus station or the metro. Pero sometimes na, nasa harap mo lang yung bus station. So, for the bus station, you just need to wait for approximately 4 to 5 minutes. Yan na yung pinakamatagal. But there are also times na Pag nandyan ka na, andyan na din yung bus. Di maswerte ka, di ba? And for the, train, for the train station or yung tinatawag namin dito metro, um, you will also wait for 5 to 10 minutes. Minsan maswerte ka, you will only wait for 3 to 5 minutes. And um, lahat ng, parang lahat siya connected. So for you to be able to have an easier way around here in Montreal, mag-download ka ng app. Siyempre, matalino tayo, di ba? So, ayan. Andito yung mga apps na ginagamit mostly na mga nandito. So, aside from Google Maps, you can utilize other um, transportation apps kasi you will see the time, kung ilan yung, yung waiting time mo, kung kailan darating yung bus or yung train or ano yung next stops mo. So, ayan guys. Makatulong to sa inyo pag andito na kayo sa Montreal. And to give you an idea kung bakit ako napadpad dito sa Montreal at ano yung mga requirements na hinanda ko, magkano ginastos ko, you can watch my other vlog about it. Check nyo lang po yung channel namin. What is considered a good salary here in Montreal? So, ano ba yung minimum dito sa Quebec? Well, nandito tayo sa Montreal. So, it's $14.25. I'm not sure. Ito na lang guys. Tingnan nyo dito. Lalagay ko na lang for you. So, ayan po yung uh, minimum salary dito sa Montreal. So, that's per hour. Okay? Do you have to speak French to work in Montreal? Well, while you can get around living here in Montreal without speaking French, you would have more opportunities for jobs in Canada if you spoke some French. So, dito sa Quebec, it is a bilingual province and people here prefer na magsalita ng French, which is their primary language. But, in looking for jobs, may makikita ka naman na mga trabaho na you don't need to speak French talaga. But, um, it will be an advantage for you if you know how to speak French. Well, for my case, I started learning French through YouTube. Marami kasi sa YouTube, you can just do it yourself. But the most effective way is to enroll mm -hmm. one of the uh, one of marami kasing schools dito sa Montreal or in Quebec na nag-offer ng uh, French classes which is also affordable because yung government ng Quebec, they want you to learn. And the good thing is they are paying you to learn French, right? So Saan ka pa? So, it's not really a bad thing to learn French kasi it will be also a training for you because sa, in, sa lahat, sa buong Canada, actually part na na ng CRS core yung uh, French language. And what I really love and enjoy here in Montreal is the food. Since this is a diverse city, marami ka pong pagpipilian na any kinds of food from Philippine cuisine, Italian cuisine, Arab, Indian, name it all. And dito po sa Montreal. And aside from the food is the beautiful views na makikita mo din dito around Montreal and also around Quebec province. So, um, so dito po ginaganap yung sikat na Cirque du Soleil. And dito din po ginaganap yung Just for Laughs gag. So, ang daming festivals na ginaganap dito sa Montreal and... Um, usually, ginaganap siya during summer and spring. So, very, I'm very looking forward to summer kasi nga, I'll be for sure pupuntahan ko yung mga festivals na yan. Tapos na tayo sa mga positive note or positive things here in Montreal. Pero, isi-share ko pa din sa inyo kung ano ba yung mga medyo nakakainis dito sa Montreal or kung mga yung mga disadvantages living here in Montreal. Ayoko i-discuss pero... Para malaman niyo din guys, if ever napupunta na din kayo dito. Number one is the taxes. Taxes in Quebec is one of the highest uh, tax rate dito sa Canada. 
and you are you will be paying 16 percent of your income tax you are also paying two types of taxes which are the federal tax and the government tax so um yun yung number one na medyo nakakapang ano dito nakakapang hina ng loob <laughs> yung pagbabayad mo ng tax okay but guys, huwag kayong matakot. Kasi naman, Montreal naman din yung may pinaka lowest cost of living. So, break even lang po siya. So, don't be scared na kasi mataas yung tax. We, this city is not livable. No. So, kaya naman din po kasi uh, maliit lang yung cost of living natin dito. Next is the gloomy weather. So, yung winter dito, umaabot siya ng almost 4 months. Imagine, almost 4 months na. Depressed ka, charot. Hindi. So, 4 months siyang super lamig. But not all the time na mal talaga malamig. But 2 weeks ago, actually, nag negative 40 degrees kami dito. As in, yung parang kailangan mo talaga um, i-turn on or lakasan yung heating mo for you to be able not to feel, I feel the, kung gaano kalamig yung negative 40. I think, um, 2 to 3 days naging ganon, pero nag naman siya sa normal winter weather. The next one is the language barrier. So, kagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, hindi lang po English dito, but you also uh, need to speak French. But not all the time, kasi you will be able to get through the day not speaking French. But again, it will be an advantage for you. And actually, French is the second language here in Canada. Kaya kung ako sa inyo, ngayon pa lang, matuto na kayo ng French. But actually, French is an interesting language. Tsaka, though complicated siya, uh, marami po akong kilala na ano, madali ding natuto, natuto ng French. Maybe it's how you, um, paano ba yung passion nyo to learn the language? And um, kung ano yung mga ways nyo uh, kung paano matutunan yung French language. I think that's it for today and I hope you guys learned something from me and um, I hope na nagka-idea po kayo on how, how is it like to live here in Montreal. And if you have uh, more questions or ano ba yung mga confusions nyo, please do comment down below and also follow our social media here and here. And also, please do like and subscribe our channel for more contents, for more vlogs for, about food, life, travel, and everything here in Canada. And please click the notification bell for you to get an update from our channel. So guys, thank you for staying with me uh, throughout the video. And I hope to see you guys soon. Merci beaucoup, au revoir, et à bientôt, scoopies! Say hi to my family.